Hello, everyone. So I have passion to knowledge. I have passion to data. And for me, data visualization is the perfect way to learn about the world. And I wonder if people feel or think the same thing as me. Uh, this is why I'm so curious to learn and to understand how people are using uh, data visualization. And the New York Times app show is for me a great opportunity uh, to explore this question. So there are several hopes, beliefs, hypotheses regarding data visualization uh, role. Uh, if I can quote uh, Amanda Cox saying in one of her interviews that the role of data visualization is to make people understand what they didn't understand or no one has understo understood before. Uh, some people think the data visualization role is about insights or haha moments. Uh, and some other things that is about feeling, uh, to have feeling after or through using data visualization, uh, this is all about. So it's believed that data visualization affects people's engagement uh, and communication. Uh, I have long short argument be right before this uh, uh, lecture about what it means, uh, communication. Uh, it can co communicate with other people, can say a lot of things. Uh, but in light of this, uh, data visualization uh, today is an important tool to explain the news to the public uh, and this is one of the reasons that the, uh, that the upshot and data visualization in general become so much popular. Uh, having said that, uh, we don't know much uh, about the role of data visualizations in real life. Uh, there, are a lot of, there are not a lot of scientific evidence to its role. Uh, many of the studies are lab studies, uh, that mean we um, trying to see how people react to visualizations in lab. And other studies are, of, uh, are in sh short times, or they have small sample. So uh, together with, with my supervisor, Professor Shizaf Faeli, we conducted a large-scale research on the audience interactions uh, with data visualization. Uh, and our goal was to see how using data visualization in the news affect people. So in order to do that, we use uh, user comments. Uh, as you all know, user comments uh, became a major arena of social activity and of the market uh, of ideas. So looking for effect uh, on social, on user comments uh, might teach us a lot about how people feel or respond uh, to data visualizations. So in order to study user comments, uh, we collected the stories uh, from the upshot uh, right from its beginning uh, till the last year. And together with the stories, we gathered uh, user comments. And we were able to find which story has visualization, uh, if it's interactive visualization, and whether also the data visualization uh, includes the uh, data uh, behind it. That means that the user can uh, use or see the raw data behind the data visualization. Uh, our final corpus, con corpus consists 4,000 stories and almost 7, 700,000 
comments. 40% uh, of this corpus uh, of this corpus contains data visualizations. So measuring engagement or measuring how people uh, understand how people uh, in understand things, it's not easy. So we use two techniques. One is counting the comments and counting the replies in order to see if there is conversation behind it. Uh, and the second one is trying to do content analysis of the comments and trying to reveal uh, cognitive expressions, uh, for example, analytical thinking words, whether the user using words as knowing, insight, understanding, a uh, problem, and emotion, emotional words like hope, interest, and trust. And the assumption behind this uh, approach that if people using more in such words, uh, it might say something about what the data visualization, uh, uh, affect, how it aff affected them, or what they make, uh, make them think or feel about. So after creating the corpus, so we discover uh, the data visualization were associated uh, with higher engagement. Uh, that means there are more conversations uh, behind it. Uh, but we cannot find significant difference in the expression of people uh, between stories with data visualizations and stories without data visualizations. So, now the, the big question is, does data visualization increase uh, understanding? So it appears that although data visualization gets the attentions of millions of people, uh, it does not lead to more quality discourse in terms of analytical thinkings and emotions. Uh, and the question is why? Uh, maybe the audience, first of all, uh, we are not sure who are the audience that uh, comment. Uh, maybe they don't have the right visualization literacy or data literacy. That, that means the, the statistic is still out to them. It's out to them to understand the data visualizations. In the other side, we also know that as though there is no difference, uh, there will also not a decrease in the analytical thinkings. Or as we like to say in Israel, it could be worst. Uh, so people still live in peace with data visualizations, uh, but they might need uh, help. Uh, maybe a more uh, uh, maybe moderators can help people to understand better or to express the thoughts uh, behind data visualizations. So let's summarize in several seconds. Uh, it's necessary for us to understand the role, the real role of data visualization in, in the world. Uh, Large-scale research can do it for us. But even, I think the main point, or one of the main points, that even if we cannot find currently evidence for the role of data visualization, it's still important that it will continue. It's important for our society, or for our democratic, democratic society, that will have access to data, uh, even if we cannot prove how it's changed uh, the world. Thank you. We have time for one question. As no, no you can uh, set up. Um, yeah, right there, coming. Okay. Uh, first of all, thanks for uh, for your presentation. I've got a pretty short question. 
if I understand, the research was conducted in a way to try to figure out the qualitative effect on the uh, people minds, right, regarding the usage of the data visualization. But uh, don't you think that the data visualization has got a pretty obvious uh, point to show people the data in a way that they can consume it in a faster way, not in a better quality or worse quality, but just faster? Um, okay, so this is interesting point. Uh, so this is return to the role of data visualization. Uh, whether it's just faster, or maybe it's have other qualities. If it's faster, so maybe we will not see a different, as you suggest. But if it's have other uh, qualities, as a deeper understanding your insight, then I think that we should. Uh, hope to find the uh, other effect. As they say in academia, this is a great question for another research. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you very much. Um, Avner? Oh.